Hello guys, this is Blossom Icy Wolf AJ with another video. I'm basically filming this video because I haven't posted in a while and I'm uploading a video right now. You guys probably think I'm super weird. My picture is um uh, a pig, but I just think they're so cute and everybody else who has a YouTube channel always um has a picture of themselves with like some sort of rare item on. That's how it went for my sister. Yeah. Oh, my sister's Epitome Wolf AJ, and I would like you... <laughs> I'm not going to force you to do it, but she would really love it if you'd subscribe to her channel. Because, yeah. This is my second attempt to make this video because, um... The sound was on, so you couldn't hear me speaking. I just hope that the sound is on right now. Probably it is. When I post it, you're going to hear it, but... Yeah. So this video today is going to be about Animal Jam updates. And the best place to look for them is in Jama Journal. And they definitely changed the color, like right here and you know. So Bittersweets. It's a really fun adventure that only comes around during this time of year, Halloween. My favorite time of year. And the reason I haven't really posted videos lately is because I've been decorating my house like crazy and I'm obsessed with it. And I haven't had any help with it except for having one friend over. But she kind of played with the cobweb the whole time. I cannot blame her. Epic Haunted Manor. So, um, Epic Haunted Manor, I bought them. They added a huge gooey green thing. They added a... They just made the whole thing bigger. Literally, now they have, like, a deck. And they also have a basement. And they have, like, forests. Whatever. The Phantom Vortex. Let's have a look at that. It's in every single world, basically. You just have to go to that little glowing phantom, and it's a fun area. Usually there's a lot more people, and if you stand, like, with at least two people on a phantom thingy-majigger, it starts glowing and doing weird patterns. And there's a little fun game in here where you have to use the light to um, direct the phantoms into this. I think the prize you get from it is a scarecrow. But that was last year, so, um, Yeah. And there are these take one candy bowls. Every time I go somewhere, I just have to take one. And they they used to be this really funny prank where um, wherever you clicked it, um, a weight would fall on your head. But now I just want candy, so they probably changed it. So. Spooky party. That is obviously not going to be on right now. I checked a long, I checked like one minute ago. And, um. Well, it's pretty cool. You just have to go there to experience it. Pet bats have returned to Jama. Rumor has it that these flying pets are hiding somewhere in the spooky party. Now, I have the hep epic haunted manor, which is exactly where the spooky party is. So, um, I can just point out where the bats would be found. You can basically get any pet there, really. Um, yeah. Sorry, my computer is really slow because whenever I have quick time player on, it just, um, yeah. <laughs> okay. It, in the haunted party, I think it would be normally right here. I have wallpaper on. Let me just take it off really quick. I do not have a lot of Halloween stuff because I um, don't like recycling things to get more. Because I have all this good stuff and I don't like recycling it, but then I want the new thing and it just bugs me so much. It would be right around here. <gasps> Yay! And I'll send a separate thingy. People go trick-or-treating and just ask me trick-or-treat, and I just give them a gift for Halloween. So it would normally be right here, and it would be in the shape of a bat. So even non-members can um, get a pet from there, but not specifically a bat. So yeah. You know, the thing about that person was I was... Go, I was at their den, literally, asking trick-or-treat, and they didn't come. And then they come back and say trick-or-treat. It's kind of crazy. So, and then, um, so we were at, doo -doo -doo. oh, the game icon. It's right here, and there's a bunch of games that you can play right here. Keep getting letters. Treat or trick. Treat. Okay, anyway. Um, yeah, the game icon's right here. You can play any game you want. 
Why did I click parties? I'm so used to clicking parties. Okay. And then the theater shop, it doesn't have much stuff. I'm not sure if it has more, but maybe when I'm visiting around Jamal, I can have a look at that. And wait, whoops. I always click that accidentally. Sorry about that. Okay, so there are these, right, right. Didn't I already introduce the Take One Candy Baskets? If I did, I apologize. There are these Take One Candy bucket Baskets all over Jamal. And um, I, sometimes I just like to walk around Jamal um, grabbing candy from these baskets. And right now, I just think that the number one thing that you're thinking right now is, why am I dressed up as a princess? You obviously wouldn't see me dress, dressing up as a princess. So, yeah, and I did that because um, there's this fun thing I like to do where I go to people's dens and I say trick or treat and it's basically kind of like role play and I can't blame people. I mean, role play is fun, but don't go hating on me because people have opinions. I mean, if you don't like role play, you don't have to like role play. And so I just say, um, I go to their den and say trick or treat and if they don't come, I just send them a letter saying trick or treat. But there's this glitch happening lately where it doesn't let me click the new jammer thing. Wait, that's my friend. Okay. Whoops. So we, yeah. And there's this, just this really, really, really fun thing I like to do where I run around to Ma basically trying to grab as many types of candy as I can because there's all these different types of candy in each world. So in here there's this weird piece of popcorn stuck together. I would hope that when I go trick-or-treating this year I am not going to get that. Speaking of trick-or-treating, I have no idea what people have planned to do. Why do I have a candy cane? Oh, what? Temple of Zeos. I'm going to be a ninja for Halloween. I know it seems kind of crazy. I've never been something like that before, but I think ninjas are cool. And I know you're going to say trick-or-treating is for younger baby kids, but um, I love trick-or-treating. I mean, it's just fun. It's a tradition. It makes you feel like a kid again. So, yeah. Okay, guys. Thanks for watching this video. This is Blossom Icy Wolf AJ, and I am so happy to just make videos because I haven't been posting in a while, and I'm making this video because I'm uploading that one over here. So thanks so much for watching this video, and like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. Thanks so much. Bye, Jammers!